This tutorial will show you how to generate a defined PDF or defined XML as specified here in the Define Doc tool, but then also make those files available to be viewed on the iPad uh, using a Clinical Reviewer iPad app. So that as before, if you're familiar with this tool, you would just specify where, what folder you want, and what file name, in this example, is a defined PDF and also select on the input data set. If I leave it blank, it'll generate all of my data sets from this study and click generate. That What that'll do is it'll capture all the metadata. Uh, in this example, it prompts the fact that I already created this earlier. So if I say override it, it's going to recapture the latest metadata, variable name attributes, and um, data set attributes, and generate a PDF file with all those in the defined PDF format. Um, you can see all the bookmarks over here that you can link to the specific data sets or uh, the the value level metadata if you if you wish to. Let me zoom in a little bit here. In this example, let's say the AE data set, you can uh, see that if any of the variables have value level metadata, it's hyperlinked and you can drill down and view all the value level metadata or the control terms of each one. Um, so that's the PDF version. In order to view this on the iPad, um, it's recommended that you generate the same thing in XML. XML is more portable and the um, Clinical Reviewer iPad app reads the XML version. So if you were to just change the file extension to XML and then um, generate that again, it will capture the same metadata and this time instead of PDF format it uses the ODS engine to create the XML version of that file. Everything is the same. Uh, the difference being that it would be a an XML format viewable via a browser on the PC and also um, which I'll show you later viewable on the um, uh, on the iPad. So it's generating the report right now. It's taking a little bit of time because I actually set up the option to generate on both the iPad and the um, the local version. So it's actually doing two versions at the same time. Um, so I'll show you both versions once it's finished here. Okay, so the first version that I'll show you is the actual version that resides on the on the PC within this path that is specified here. Now this version is a an XML file which you can also view via a web browser um, because it has an associated style sheet in a similar way with all the hyperlinking you can drill down to the variables and if there's a um, level metadata, you can click on that variable and go down to the value level and also the associated um, code list control terms, you can also drill down to, to those as well. So all those work the same way. Now the difference is if you were to go into the info or the information about the study, there's this n new option here to also generate another copy in a separate folder for the Clinical Reviewer iPad tool. And in this case, let me show you what files it creates. Now it also, it, it does go ahead and create the, um, the XML file and the associated XSL style sheet. But in addition, it creates um, the case report form, splitting it up to the various pages in the right format, optimized for the iPad, and also it optimized some of the X transport files, the SAS datasets, into an HTML format that makes it easy for um, the iPad to view. So let me show you how that would look like on the iPad. The first thing you do uh, is to go and open up iTunes. Uh, within your um, still on the desktop and then you would go ahead and drag that file now, in addition to all the files it generates it also zip everything in one to make it easier for transfer so you can drag that zip file 
over to iTunes within your app and that's all it takes to transfer that file over here. So if I were to go down to my um, iPad which I have ready here, I will show you that after I just copied that over, um, the iPad will show up that same zip file. So if I tap on that zip file, it would unzip the file and all the associated um, the, the HTML file for the data sets and all the, the PDFs and everything will be loaded onto the iPad. So if I were to go over to, um, for example, the case report form, uh, in this example I only selected three uh, example PDF or case report form. It actually took one case report form, big PDF file, and splits it into three separate little files here one in a thumbnail view on the left and then you know a PDF version on the right that you can view. Uh, in a similar way the the, uh, the data sets are actually this I guess this example data set doesn't have a label but it has the data set name and the label which is how it's defined and documented in the Define XML. Now the data you can also zoom in and you can also search for certain um, text. For example, if I were to search for this term, uh, let me see, how about LEV or something like that. Um, so it shows me all the text that has the uh, LEV text criteria in it. So all this is exactly what you what we would see on uh, the desktop, but now you can view all the data and all the variables um, you know, in uh, in real time, the the nice advantage here is that once loaded, it is running locally on this iPad device. It's not going across the network anymore to get to any of these metadata and data sets. So things the appear very fast. For example, if I were to switch between the data sets here, you can see, um, depending on my zoom view, how fast. Uh, it jumps over to the various data sets because everything is now being viewed locally instead of you know across any network even if I'm in airport mode or without any 3G or any Wi-Fi this will still work so that's how I'm able to move my XML file and I can load as many studies as I want this um, test study here is uh, just the the example that I created on on the desktop. If I create more, I have a series of them here. It comes with an example, but this is how you would be able to generate the defined PDF or XML, transfer it over, and then view it um, on the iPad.